Let's talk about the actual modes of communication. Joshua here from World Language Classroom, where you get tips, tools, and resources to help your students rise in proficiency and communicate with confidence. So let's dive right into the actful modes of communication. Now, actful defines three modes of communication. There's presentational, interpretive, and interpersonal, and they all have very distinct goals and objectives. So how do we distinguish and define these three modes so that we're using them in the way that we think we're using them with students? Let's start with presentational communication. Now, presentational communication is always prepared in advance. It's the prepared presentation of information and ideas in spoken and written forms. So this is when students are either writing or speaking in a way that is just them writing or speaking. They are not getting any response from the reader or the listener. So it's prepared in advance and they are just speaking or writing on their own one way. Now, the sort of the opposite of that is interpretive communication. Now, this is one way listening or reading that doesn't require a response or reaction in real time. So again, they're listening to something or they're reading something, but they're not reacting to it in real time. Now, what this means is that familiar or unfamiliar context will really have an impact on how much the students understand or comprehend what they're reading or listening to. Now, interpersonal communication is sort of a mix of both. It's the exchange of communication between speakers who are in personal contact. Now, students always ask, does this mean that you have to be physically in the same space? You know, no, it can be on the telephone, it can be on Skype or anything. That just means that it's real-time communication. I'm speaking, you're listening to me, you're speaking, I'm listening to you, and we're sp responding back and forth to each other. So it involves interpreting and producing language in real time and negotiating the meaning with each other. Whereas presentational communication is one way speaking and writing, and interpretive is one way listening and reading, interpersonal communication is an active exchange of information. Now, here's the thing. As teachers, we often perceive activities in the language classroom as interpersonal, but they are often not really interpersonal. They're much more presentational. So if we're having students do dialogues that they memorize and present or do skits that they prepare in advance, that is in fact presentational and it's not really interpersonal communication. So how can we determine if an activity is in fact interpersonal? So here's some tips. Interpersonal communication is not one-way communication and it is not memorized, but rather it is two-way communication. It's an exchange of ideas and it's spontaneous and it's unrehearsed. Also, it's not overly concerned with accuracy. You know, it's much more about communication than communicating accurately. And it's not about giving up when you don't understand something. So what is it then? It means that it's about focusing on form and message, and it's using communication strategies such as circumlocution and negotiating the meaning if you don't understand what's being said or you don't quite know how to go about saying something. So now there are some tips also for presentational and interpretive communication. So remember that presentational communication is one way speaking and writing. So the creation of the message. You're creating a message that someone is either reading or listening to, but you're delivering it through writing or speaking. So you have to have some knowledge of the audience's perspective. Do you have to explain things further? Do you not have to explain things very much because they understand what you're sort of talking about already? Because remember, there's no active negotiation of meaning going on. And so the same thing goes for interpretive communication. Whereas you're listening and reading, it's about interpreting the message. And so you have to have some knowledge of what they're talking about to truly understand and remembering that there is no active negotiation of meaning. So each mode of communication has a specific goal. Is it about reading and listening, which is interpretive? Is it about speaking and writing that's just one way communicating an idea that's presentational? Or is it about an exchange of information in real time, whereas it would be interpersonal? So start with that goal and then plan activities accordingly. 
You can read my blog post that gives much more detail and examples about the actual modes of communication on my blog, wlclassroom.com, or you can quickly get there by going to bit.ly slash communication modes. That's bit.ly slash communication modes. Make sure it's capital C, capital M. It's case sensitive. So bit.ly slash communication modes to read my blog post with much more examples about all of these actful modes of communication. So you can join me, World Language Classroom, all over on social media. I'm WL Classroom. Um, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram and Periscope and Pinterest, all over the place. So please join me. Thank you so much for stopping on by, and I hope to see you soon.